We've all read about sibling rivalry in fairy tales like Cinderella. Serena Williams beating her big sister Venus in the women's final. There's no stopping Serena. In the darkest depths of the forbidden zone. Shows can be successful simultaneously. It's showtime. Hi everybody and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Any doubts that Hollywood would take sharp aim at President Trump's immigration order were swiftly vanquished at the Screen Actors Guild Awards on Sunday night. Amid upsets, winner after winner lashed out at the policy, pleading for acceptance of differences in a bitterly divided time. And in the case of the cast of Stranger Things, adopted the stance of political firebrands. We will get past the lies, we will hunt monsters, said David Harbour, a cast member of that Netflix series which won for best television drama as the audience roared its approval. Opening in theaters amid controversy over animal treatment on set and calls for a boycott, A Dog's Purpose still managed to earn $18.4 million. First place at the box office went again to M. Night Shyamalan's multiple personality thriller Split. It grossed $26.3 million in its second weekend in theaters. Hidden Figures came in third. The Super Bowl is five days away. Finally, something important to distract us from the stuff in the news. These days, you can't get away from troubling news. It's on TV, it's online, and it's on Facebook. And sadly, even the antics of America's first family of comedy, the Kardashians, aren't enough to distract us anymore. But there's still football when the Atlanta Falcons take on the New England Patriots this Sunday in Super Bowl 51. Now's your chance to unplug for a four-hour football game that'll stretch into nearly 12 hours of television time. Invite your friends over and show off that new 4K TV you're still paying off. And when someone has nine beers too many and hurls all over your recliner, it's all good because it's football, an American institution. Who cares about illegal immigrants? Budweiser, Apple, and GoDaddy all have new commercials this year. And never mind Syria. Lady Gaga might have a wardrobe malfunction at halftime. Live it up. No one gets any work done that Monday anyway, so take a break from politics and protests. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the Super Bowl. It used to bring us together, and it still can. Because nothing says America like grown men patting each other on the butt. President Trump issued a travel ban on seven predominantly Muslim countries. The world hasn't been this horrified by something he's done since the day before. And Delta Airlines is furious, causing nightmarish headaches at airports across the country is their job. People protested the ban on Muslims over the weekend. On the bright side of Trump's presidency, the obesity rate is sure to go down since everyone's constantly marching. Meanwhile, Trump has signed a record amount of executive of orders. The last time he did so much signing, it was for phony Trump University diplomas. Trump talked to Vladimir Putin by phone for over an hour on Saturday. The White House said the call was positive. Trump called it arousing. Dick Cheney turned 76 yesterday. Remember when he was the most evil man in America? Those were innocent times, weren't they? Split remains the number one movie in America. It's about a psychopath that terrorizes women who's not in the White House. Apple CEO Tim Cook said Apple would not exist without immigration. Actually, Apple wouldn't exist without underage Asian factory workers. The new U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, said that she's there to take names of any nation that doesn't have America's back and make sure that they pay for their disrespect. Yeah, that's the attitude you want to have on your very first day at work at an international peacekeeping organization. A man and his 75-year-old mom survived being lifted out of their home during a tornado by sitting together in a bathtub. The man said the tornado didn't traumatize him, but being in a bathtub with his mother sure as hell did. Time for Nobody Gives a F***. New study says men on dating sites are more popular if they mention dancing or cooking. Because if there's one thing women love, it's a man who can lie. Hey, dating, nobody gives a f***. 
New research says spending more time being naked around other people will make you happier. Well, that's funny, because the last time I tried it, I didn't get happier. I got six months probation, 180 hours of community service, and a beat down from a school crossing guard. Hey, studies, nobody gives a f and three people were arrested and charged in New Jersey after leaving behind a pound of marijuana in their hotel room. How could you ever forget your marijuana? Oh, right. Hey, Mary Jane, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.